What is going on guys, thank you for joining me back again, another episode from Zero to Hero. Now we are just about to play in the semi-final of the cup, that's right I decided to come back and stream the semi-final of the cup. Let's check out the schedule first, now you see exactly what's happened since you last with us. We have played a few games since you last with us, so we followed up the 5-0 victory with a very, very disappointing 1-0 defeat at home to Starback. Really disappointed with that. It could have put us in a really good position. But we then played Valerenga at home in the quarterfinal of the cup. And we got a 3-1 victory which has put us into today's position of the semi-final. Um, we actually followed that up though with a very disappointing defeat at home to Frederikstad. Who were close to us in the table at the time. And obviously with defeats either side, the cup quarterfinal did put a damp on things, but I tried to stay positive and look at this. We followed that up with a 2-1 victory away to Mulder, who are top of the table. Really, really happy with this. And as you see, we scored in the 50th and then the 54th minute with a penalty to give us the victory. We held on all the way till the end, really happy. Um, and then we went away to Brand and got a 2-0 victory. They are bottom of the table. Um, we then played odd at home. Really disappointed to lose this. Um, we dominated for most of the game, which makes it even worse. But then, as you see, we've just beaten Valerengo away from home with a 91st minute winner and... It was fantastic. Really, really happy to have won that game. Um, and as you'll see in the in the <coughs> sorry about that in the competition screen, you'll see we're starting to look in a bit better position now. Um, a few games ago, we were starting to slip, but we are now sitting in fourteenth. We actually joined with thirteenth, following a. Um, and we're only two points behind 11th now, um, three points behind 10th. So really, really happy that we actually start and look fairly decent. And we st we're now three points clear of Viking. Hopefully we can pull away um, and obviously make sure we are secure. Um, our confidence is only 44% for the league. Um, they are satisfied with our management. Bear in mind when we took over, we were in the exact same position. Um, so I haven't done fantastic. Um, I basically... Just kind of picked up some some points. I mean, let's just check. Since I took over, so here it is. I've played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've played 11 games in the league and I've won 3, 4, and I've won 4 of them. So really disappointing. Um, drawing 1 and losing f 6. Wow, that's quite poor. Um, definitely bottom half of the table poor um, but what I would say is we've got two we've got four games at home in the league and two games away in the league left so hopefully we can get ourselves out of it um, but first off onto the squad screen so top goal scorer is Tommy Hoyland with five in four day now um, most assists is Hesland who has seven assists now Key passes, Hesland is there with 40, interceptions 246 for Rothes, who's actually injured for today, and average rain is 7.44, and that's for Focuson, and then Kinsella, who since coming has played four games and got 7.35 average, most valuable player, who is owned by Ziskatsum, our right back at 250k. Um, just get what I will quickly show you actually is I've got three players in on trial at the minute, all from South America. The first one here, um, obviously can't say lovely stats. I'm hoping he's going to be fairly decent. Um, but we'll soon find out. He's 20, so I've got to take into account that he's not going to improve him massively. Um, the next one, 21 year old Maxi Lopez Macri. Can't see enough of him yet, but again, hopefully he's going to be fairly decent. Um, and if not, obviously I'm just let him go. And the final one is. Christian Zunger. Um, now, this guy so far from the stats which are developing looks like he's going to be a fairly decent striker. At, at the age of 19, he's already played 70 for his old club's gone 29. So, if, hopefully, we can end up tying up one of them. Um, we have made one other deal coming in in the winter window. Um, Andy Carr on a free transfer. Um, he's not the greatest, but he's also not the worst. Um, Potential two and a half, potential four and a half. He's coming in to play for our second team with the possibility of moving up to the first team. Um, but obviously our second team does play, play competitive football in uh, the third tier. Sorry, in the fourth tier for the third division in the eighth level, eighth um, sec regional division of that. So I am trying to add to that. And obviously the 
the better my second team becomes, the better my first team's going to become. And it's something I couldn't do with Eggerson, so I'm hoping I can do here because obviously my second team at Eggerson was non-existent in a division of form. So, yeah, I'm definitely trying to do that here. And obviously, I've now added a couple of players and maybe a couple more are going to drop down. The guy signed from Eggerson, actually, I'm not sure if it was since you were last here. Um... I brought in Eric Nalen for 3.9k. Um, obviously, he's only he was 15 when I brought him in. He was the attack midfielder who played four games for us when I signed him from the youth development. So hopefully, he's going to develop into a decent player. Um, we'll see. First touch 10, passing 12. So we're just going to see how he develops. But I feel like I've just had a right ramble. So let's get into today's game, the Cup semi-final. This is a massive game for us, lads. We really, really need to win this. Um, it'll give us a lot of confidence and it will just boost our loving. Really, really want to win this. In fact, you know, Folkson's playing fantastic. He really doesn't deserve to be dropped. Um, Hyland's going to come in for Arthur, who's just not playing that well. So, let's get him in. Warwood says Buckford's leaving us. Um, he's not added to his goals. He's not scoring enough goals. And he is a foreign player, and this club has far too many foreign players. So I've got a couple of Norwegians coming in from Eggerson in the summer, and I'm going to try to sign a few more from other divisional clubs once they release them. Um, so, yeah, definitely in the winter. The winter window is literally going to be focus on Norwegian players. Literally, all I'm going to be doing is hopefully signing 90% Norwegian and a couple of foreign players, but most of them will be... With the possibility of maybe playing for the second team and bringing a couple into the first team. But I've got way too many at the minute. So it is just about Norwegian players for the starting 16, especially. But come on, let's um, see if we can get ourselves into the final of the cup. And we all know what happens if you win the cup. You get European football. Hence the main reason why I want to get to the final at least to give ourselves a chance. Come on, close him. I mean, it's definitely a tough game here against Orsund. Orsund. That's 10 minutes in. We've had more possession, but they've dominated shots-wise. Come on. Hayland, back out. Great ball in. Unlucky. Come on. <sighs> Unlucky. Decent play there from our lads. And Tommy Hayland has picked up an injury, unfortunately. Clamming at the bit to get a start. He finally gets a, a start again after scoring off the bench a couple of times and he goes and gets himself injured. Good work. Mm. Is it in? No, it's been cleared away. Fantastic. Hogson. Well blocked. Well in. Come on. Oh, come on, Brown. <sighs> Over the bar, they've dominated so far. I'm just gonna passionate, just encourage them, lads. Um, this is a cup semi final, we do have a chance to get to the final here. Our first cup final, obviously, as a, as a manager in this from zero to hero, which is obviously expected. I wasn't gonna reach the cup final with Eggerson. Come on, oh, Brown. Oh, come on, that's just pure play, though. You pick it up and you just. Dispossessed very poorly. Focusing. Hessland. Focusing again. To come out Hessland. Oh! He nearly buried it in the top corner. Arthur. Focusing. Back to Arthur. That was a poor shot, but we've got it back. Oh, come on. Some good play, but again, just poor, poor finishing. Free kick here, Hessland. It's a goal kick. I thought it was saved, but... Marco Damascano. We came... Oh! That would have been a goal worth conceding. It's coming up to half-time, it seems, now. Yep. A drub match so far, as they say. But there's been a couple of decent... In the box efforts, in the box chances trying to create and stuff. Um, so I wouldn't say it's been a drub match. I think the um, commentators have been a bit harsh there. 
Here we go. I mean, we're still in it. You've got to be in it to win it. So, see if we can um, improve in the second half. I think they threw a lot at us. Where we haven't gave our best to them, I don't feel. So, hopefully we can get the victory here. Brown. Oh, unlucky. Come on. I do have League James and I'll say it was um, just called offside. That guy has some pace about him. Come on. I think there's going to be possibly some tactical changes. Who do we have available? No, there's not because we are missing our main tactical adjustment people from the bench due to injury. So unless fitness or injuries, I will be sticking with this team throughout. Possibly, mm, possibly I might take Brown off. I do have someone who can play to the mid. Mm. Sorry about that. I'm yawning my head off live for you guys. Mm, ten minutes to go. Just um, another team talk for encouraging them. Oh no! Come on. Well away. Well in. Beautiful. Beautiful, come on, spread it wide. Unlucky, win it, well in. Good strength. Holster. It's Brown. Brown goes past one and gives it away. Got it back up. Sequin. Yeah. Oh, come on. Good save, keeper. Shocking, shocking defending there. I'm going to take off Brown and bring on you, but then you can go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just get that change done. So, we're coming up with, I think it's almost going to go into extra time here. Um, Just checking penalty taking ability of the people on the bench. Wow. So my two strikers have a seven and a four for penalty taken. Yep, I'm gonna rush them guys on the pitch, aren't I? Brilliant. Two strikers left on the bench, both of them can't take penalties. Let's hope we finish this game off before it gets to penalties. We've had more possession, I mean we haven't had as many shots, but is that just that we're not shooting for the sake of it, or are we just not creating the chances up the field and our possession's a lot deeper? I'm not sure. That's one way of getting rid of it, even though you are told to pass short. Here when they do that. They're instructed not to just boot in, yet they still do it. That's a goal kick. And... Okay, so I'm going to bring you on. I'm going to put you there. Move you there. So, dropping the right back in the centre back. Basically, it costs on a yellow card at all. The more tired you get, the more chance of them getting a the second yellow card. And it's going down to 10 men for the last 15 minutes, which is not what we want. So, we have really good full back on the bench. That's our highest rated player, technically, but he's just not performing as well as the other guy. So. Hey, come on. But we do have fresh legs legs at left back now though if needed. Finish it. Oof. Is it it's ten minutes ago, come on. It's gonna be a nail biting end. Come on, just close them. Don't give them time to dance. Oh nice flick with the outside of his boot. And they have got the goal. They have the goal and I will give them the fair play to the the flick. We are going to go route one all out attack for the last um, eight minutes now. I mean, there's a chance we're going to not make it to the cup final, which is disappointing. So let's get ourselves attacking. Well in. Oh, lucky. Come on. Well in. And you picked a man out. Come on. Good ball, nice pass. 
come on, that was sloppy, that was sloppy. He had one job, he had one job. Well, fuck's sake, man. You do well, you get back, you intercept, I'm pleased, and you just kick it out of play. Give them a corner, why not, eh? Come on, well in. Good clearance. Uh, come on, ball over the top, ball over the top. Great ball, great ball, get down that flank, get in. No, they're getting behind us again. You give a penalty away, it's going to be 2 0. And we are going out of the cup due to some stupid defender. No doubt he's off as well. Last man. No, it's a yellow card. Let's all bet on percentage chance of him missing. I'd say about 10%. In fact, less than that, the amount of misses actually happen on this. There you go. Sent the keeper the wrong way. Good penalty. Fair play to them. And it's looking like we are out of the cup in the semi-final, which is disappointing to get so close to the final. And more important, to get close to Europe. That's what we needed financially, more than anything. Um, because we are not in a good financially financial position. And um, I can't build a club with no money to spend on wages. And I have a feeling that they're gonna just keep losing money. We're gonna end up. They're gonna end up selling players from behind my back if, if we keep losing money like we are. We're losing a couple hundred thousand a week, and that's just out. We're out of the cup. I'm not happy. Poor performance. Um, we were lucky to get extra time. We played poor. They had a lot more shots. So guys, let's check the schedule and see when you're going to come back and join us after that disappointing, disappointing result. And because there's so few games left, um, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to come back for the end of season review next um, with the Viking game. We'll stream that one live, obviously. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And we'll be back for the Viking game on the last day of the season. See you shortly.